finding encouraging news for you tonight. It looks as if flooding in the Jamestown area near the Santee River may not be as bad as originally thought. News 2's Raymond Owens joins us live from the Santee River with more. Raymond, give us an idea of what you're seeing right now. You've been out there for several days. I imagine the conditions are very different. It is. Actually, the conditions look uh, uh, worse. They are, they are definitely worse than they were uh, yesterday. Just yesterday, we were down by, the, by the, uh, the bridge there in the background on Highway, that's Highway 17A. We were right below that, and all of that, including this area that I'm standing in now, was dry at that time. So you can definitely see that the water level has risen. Now, take a look at this. You can see uh, from the bridge, looking down into the parking lot of the boat landing where I'm, I'm at here in in Jamestown, uh, just uh, flooded completely. I, I shot some of this video earlier today, and as you can see, all of that area kind of going into the Santee River. Uh, it just looks like uh, one giant river at this point. Now, the good news is I did have a chance to talk with Tom Smith. He's the director of emergency preparedness for Berkeley County, and he tells me that they aren't necessarily going to have to uh, have a shelter open like they thought they were going to, but he says they are prepared just just in case it is worse than they expected. We do have a shelter on standby, but it looks like uh, that's how we're going to keep it is on standby. And the reason for that is it looks like the, 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 the crest, the maximum amount of, of water is going to be slightly lower than they thought it would be. Uh, one of the, the first houses that would be flooded uh, out here, I, I spoke with the owner of that house. Uh, she said that their house, she would need 22.8 feet of water in order to start flooding her house. And now they're expecting the crest to be at 22.7 feet. So she's just barely going to be under there as long as, as that crest holds out. But it has gone down slightly. It was over 23 feet earlier. And so uh, that's good news for those here in Jamestown. It doesn't look like there's going to have to be any sort of evacuations here tonight. Reporting live in Jamestown, I'm Raymond.